I'm Dave Ward of the Ward Law Firm, and I help protect the business owner who's facing divorce. And in this series, we've been talking about the three most frequently asked questions that I get, uh, and we'll go on to discuss the four questions that you should be asking uh, whenever you speak to an attorney. Uh, And we are on question number three of our frequently most asked questions. That question is, what can I do to prevent my spouse from taking retaliatory actions against me throughout the divorce process? And in in order to answer that question, I'm going to discuss one of the things that often happens when a divorce case gets filed. In Georgia, when a divorce gets filed, most jurisdictions have what are referred to as standing orders. A standing order is an order that arises by operation of law upon the filing of a certain type of case. Most often, those uh, orders are issued directly from the judges in the county in which uh, the case is being filed. Um, The one I talk about the most is Gwinnett County, uh, for example. Gwinnett County has something called mutual restraining orders. And in those mutual restraining orders, there are a number of different types of retaliatory actions that uh, the order specifically prohibits. Uh, For example, um, it specifically states that neither spouse can um, sell or otherwise destroy any assets. It says that neither spouse can change or cancel insurance uh, without first getting the court's permission. Uh, It states that neither spouse can take any minor children outside of the jurisdiction of the court without first getting the court's permission. These are some of the the things that happen most frequently. Um, Included in that list is also uh, that people can't cancel utilities, which again happens uh, all too often. Now, the important thing to understand about mutual restraining orders uh, is, you know, an an order is, is... for all intents and purposes, you know, this legal, basically, obligation that somebody has to follow. But it appears as just a normal piece of paper, and there's not a piece of paper that's going to prevent somebody from doing something if they actually are intent on doing it. However, because we have these standing orders, what that does, it allows the court then to use its contempt powers to address the situation. The contempt powers of a court are very, very broad and usually come into play when somebody violates a court's order. Uh, So if somebody, for example, violated one of these mutual restraining orders by, say, um, canceling somebody's health insurance, the court would then be in a position to hold them in contempt and could use any one of a number of options it has at its disposal to address the situation, including the levying of fines, uh, attorney's fees, and even incarceration of the person who's offending the, uh, the order. So while the, the order itself won't necessarily stop somebody from taking retaliatory action, uh, through the contempt powers of the court, it will make them very unhappy about the decision they made to do that. So these are the things the courts do in order to try and prevent retaliatory actions from happening. Uh, at this point, uh, you've reached the, the end of our third video in, in this series, uh, and we're wrapping up our, our three most frequently asked questions. If you have any questions about your case, our contact information is below. Give me a call, and we'll set up a time to sit down and do your real case analysis. Again, I'm David Ward from the Ward Law Firm, and I help protect the small business owner in divorce.